what can you tell us about the history of this valley based on what you see in this face here? Okay. Well, Art, the position we're in right now is at the toe of an alluvial fan, which has accumulated at the base of this steep slope above us. So over the last few thousands of years, after major natural disturbances, probably fire, you would have pulses of sediment coming down, either uh, carried by running water or as mud flows, and building up a series of layers of material. And what's really distinctive about this site is we can see uh, essentially a layer cake of old land surfaces marked by buried soils, which then are covered by fresh deposits. And we see throughout this sequence of deposits here, and we're only looking at the top half of it. We've, we've excavated down to five meters earlier on in our, in our research. A layer cake of, of buried soils and deposits which represent uh, over 7,000 years of, of, of history at this site. So whenever we see one of these buried soils, in, uh, invariably there is uh, a substantial amount of charcoal associated with it. So I'll just point out a couple of examples of this. Uh, at this level here, we can actually see a fairly large piece of charcoal here. There's a couple of, dis of uh, distinctive soils at roughly that depth. And then down here, there's one fairly prominent buried surface with lots of dark material, which is the, represents the charcoal content, and then another surface just below it. So from radiocarbon dating this uh, charcoal, we can get an idea of when these events occurred that created these, these buried soils. So this one was about 2,500 years ago. This one was about 3,400 years ago. So, so what does the layer of charcoal tell you about the conditions at the time that event happened? Well, likely what would have happened is we would have had a, a severe fire. And uh, bear in mind that we're in this interior cedar hemlock zone which is a, a, has a moist climate, so fires would not happen very frequently. Uh, but when a severe fire would happen under the right conditions, that would burn off enough of the vegetation that we would have a, an episode of slope instability and accelerated erosion, which would be expressed in further additions of material to deposits like this. And so we just simply dig down through this, this uh, record and, and we're really treating these strata as pages in a book and looking at the, the timing of these events. Mm -hmm. So what has happened then is that the, each time one of these pulses of sediment has occurred uh, on this slope after a fire, it's really reset the time clock for soil formation. So when we look closely at the, these layers of material, they have only a very weak expression of soil forming processes maybe a, a small amount of soil structure formation and if you look closely in places there will be uh, evidence of, of mottling which indicates that at that time we might have had a high water table temporarily. So in general though very weak expression of soil forming processes which means that which, which, which is consistent with what we know about the sequence of disturbances here. Every thousand years or so something happened to reset the clock and uh, soil formation would begin anew on this, this fresh surface.